What's up, party people? Rob Hunter back with you. The trendy topics that are going on in the news this week. We start with the Rutgers basketball coach. His name is Mike Rice, and he was fired after a video surface of him throwing basketballs at his players' heads. He was also shoving them and calling them names, all that kind of good stuff. A grown man shouldn't act like that, let's be honest. But the problem really lies with Rutgers University because they have zero integrity. It wasn't until the video surfaced for the public to see that they actually decided to fire the guy. That's the big joke of this whole entire thing here because they knew about it, they knew what he was doing. At the time, before we got to see the video, it was only worth a suspension. But here's the funny thing that Rutgers gets to do. They get to write him a nice fat check for $100,000 because they didn't fire him. Part of his bonus in his contract was lasting the whole season. So Rutgers, pay up simply because you have no integrity. Speaking of no integrity, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan put a joke up on Twitter on April Fool's Day, said it's official, pregnant. The reality is though, the joke worked because it's entirely believable. We're watching Lindsay Lohan throw her entire life away, and that's really the sad part of this joke, is that she doesn't know the joke is still on her. I mean, we can't even keep track of the number of mug shots she has for crying out loud. And seriously, what does it take to get your life together these days? Come on, Lindsay! Enough with the April Fool's Day jokes. Get it together, man! Trendy item number three in the news this week, a guy named Brian Banks. Now, he's not a household name, but this is a really cool story. He spent five years in jail, he's wrongly accused of rape, but he busted the girl, got her to confess that it was all the ruse. Now he gets his chance to play in the NFL. He's been trying hard since he got out of jail. He tried out last year, but there wasn't enough time for him to work out. Well, now he signed a contract with the Atlanta Falcons. Story is awesome, it's uplifting, because the guy, Brian Banks, never gave up on his dreams, and he's gonna get a chance to live them out this coming football season. Just wanted to end on a cool note. Trendy topic number three, Brian Banks getting his chance in the NFL. I gotta get out of here. My name's Rob Hunter. We'll do it again right here on KTAR.com next week. Is this thing on?